All right, so we're going to try something new together. They added a dynamic flow calibration for the P1P. It's getting ready to start up now. This isn't what I normally print PETG at. Normally I'm at 270 and what is it, 20 millimeters on the volume metric? Speed. But it won't let me change it. It's it's a you change the filament drop down tab. You change the filament drop down tab, and it automatically sets the nozzle bed and volumetric speed, and it doesn't let you change those manually. All right, so we got through the bed leveling part of the process and we're now heating back up it says we're at 68 percent there we go TGI blue on the bed and I forgot to do that. complete let's click next calibration completed please find the most uniform extrusion line on your hotbed like the picture below and fill the value on its left side into factor and put it to box Sorry, I'm going back and forth between the bed and the example. All right, let's take a look at it. So after some deliberation, some back and forth, I decided to go with 0.45. We moved the uh, red filament from the bed to this back of this envelope, and these are a better example of the results. 0 0.6, 0 0.6 to 0 0.4 don't really look all that different, but I figured I'd go with the minimum that didn't look terrible. So we went with uh, 0.45. And I started it by coming over here to, oh, let me get this to focus, device on the new up-to-date bamboo slicer. And down here is a little calibrate of calibration of extrusion button. Could have started with that with the video, but that's okay. As usual, impromptu video is brought to you by Tabletop Biker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.